Hi, Tops. First of all, welcome to the studio. Welcome uh, back to St. Louis. How does it feel to be uh, playing over the board chess here in St. Louis? Well, it was feeling great at the start, <laughs> but then disaster strikes, you know, sometimes in chess. And uh, in that game against Hungaski. Yeah, yeah. We have to ask. What, yes. happen what happened? <laughs> well, I forgot that the rook moved from f2. Like, uh, mm -hmm. after rook g2, I thought I had rook h2, and it's just uh, mate. ladder mate. mate. Yeah. yeah, that's what we but thought. But then the king escapes to f2, and uh, I'm just lost. So I, I I saw the evaluation drop from plus 6 to minus 3, so I basically dropped the queen in one move. Yeah, pretty and, much the uh, equivalent. Yeah. And they called me a grandmaster, so it was <laughs> pretty shameful, to be honest. But... Um, and then, yeah, I kind of checked out for the, for the next three rounds, honestly. But today, Chris was under a lot of pressure, I think, mm -hmm. you know, with the black pieces playing for first. How did so, you approach today's round? You knew that that is his situation. What was your situation? I'm not playing for anything. I'm just making moves, you know. He, he wants to beat me. I'm just going to tuckle down and let him beat me if, you, you know, if he can do it. Um, but... Um, yeah, I think the pressure kind of got to him, to be honest. Let's look at the game. Uh, which ones do you think were the critical moments of this one? I think he, uh, he rushed with, uh, with f4. Um, I think this position, yeah, it was very nice for black, right? Like, if you look uh, right here, right? Uh, yeah. Perfectly developed. Um, but then he tried these forcing moves with uh, f4, and uh, I kind of managed to break in the center. And by the way, I think uh, we do have a result in that critical matchup. It seems like Abimanyu has won his game yep. against Christopher Yu and has won Group B of the Spring Chess Classic. Congratulations to the world's youngest grandmaster. There you go, Abimanyu Mishra. Look at, look at the production value. <laughs> it's just through the roof today. Winner of uh, Group B. Certainly congratulations to him. Uh, yeah, we can continue with the, with the game. Uh, we'll definitely have Abimanyu later here uh, sharing his experience. Yeah, 7 out of 9, very impressive score from the youngest grandmaster. Huge, huge score, and he actually uh, scored 6.5 out of 7 in the last 7 right, rounds. Right, right. That... No, it was very, very impressive. Yeah, so after a 4, um, I have to take, obviously, because f3 is hanging, bishop h3, and d4, and now I'm kind of, you know, untangling a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. Pieces are coming off the board as well, um, and uh, he has to address the bishop on h3, so he took... And uh, king g2, yeah, queen f5. And again, pieces are coming off the board, right? Like, I have this weakness on c4, but uh, I'm getting a lot of tempi. I actually have doubled f and c pawns right now. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, and, uh, but I do get a lot of initiative here, I felt like. And um, here I thought maybe h6 was an idea for black, at least. Mm -hmm. Try to prevent bishop g5. Um, I'm not sure how good it is, but I was looking at that for the most part, because what he did in the game felt like I, again, just come in with tempo like in the next five moves, and he just has no time to take on c4. So he had bishop g5, rook f1 after king f7. Now knight f4 is an idea, knight e6 was an idea. I right. has to play this. Uh, and what if he takes on c4 now? Uh, yeah. Instead of rook f8? Uh, yeah, probably knight f4 then. Yeah. Ah, knight to f4, very nice. Yeah, this looks like it's too much activity. Really yeah, and I can always play 96 and then a 4 again. And, uh, and this was probably something that he missed. From afar, at least. Yeah, pr yeah. possibly, possibly. Um, <laughs> I love the uh, question mark, exclamation mark, move on D5. Um, <laughs> it's Lee Chess, don't... don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it helps, it helps. It uh, definitely helps, yeah. Knight F4. And we liked our position a lot here. Yeah, uh, I thought it was yeah. almost winning. I went back on with the engine on it uh, because during broadcast we actually expected exactly what happened in the game and we thought it was very bad for black. Mm. But the engine found this magical move rook g8. <laughs> Good luck finding that over the board. Yeah, uh, and thought that black was still doing okay. But yeah, I think rook g8 is not difficult to find, but you have to make a choice, right? You can't make all three like rook g8, rook e8, or rook c8. You can't play all three, right? So you have to make one out of those three. And rook g8 makes some sense because you defend g7, obviously. Um, so take on c5 and yeah. 97 or 97, yeah, so? that's probably... Yeah, the engine wanted to go b5. b5. Yeah, yeah and knight c6 comes, you know, and... Yeah, and somehow it was not so afraid. But and after rook e8, I, we'd really like to remove rook e4. We were actually analyzing rook d1 and stuff like that, but rook e4 came on the board. We saw the whole line with b5, knight c7, and a4, and we thought, yeah, this is actually very clean. And it seemed like he didn't Four recover. Ones, yeah. 
well, you are a grandmaster. <laughs> Don't put yourself down so much. B5, knight, c7, and it, it was just smooth sailing from here. Yeah, yeah, it was a pretty clean game here and after. Um, yeah. Titas, always uh, a big pleasure to see you here at the St. Louis Chess Club. Tell us a little bit about your plans going forward your chess plans going forward. You live in the United States right now, right? Yeah, I live in the States, but I do travel quite a bit back to Europe sometimes. And um, I, uh, in my interview before the tournament, I said this was probably going to be the most important tournament of the year. So again, just maybe put a little bit too much pressure on myself mm -hmm. coming into it. Um, also got, you know, the, the five blacks, so that was unfortunate. But uh, I do hope to play in the Olympiad if that happens. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's very uncertain right now, obviously, what's happening in the, in the world. Um, and yeah, I do, do plan to play a bit of chess uh, here in the States as well. Uh, there is a tournament in Dallas, I think, in Virginia. Um, so yeah, just play some chess, you know, and uh, see how it goes, hopefully better than, than this time. Well, thank you very much for joining us here in the studio, Titas, and good luck in your travels. Thank you, Christian. Uh, thank you, certainly.